This comes the project demonstration of plant uh, water monitoring and controlling system by using IoT technology. So here uh, the main application of this project is uh, we are going to get the sensors data of uh, from this soil moisture and soil moisture sensor and uh, DST double one. So from these two sensors we are going to get the uh, moisture level inside a soil with the help of the sensor and humidity and temperature from this uh, DST double one sensor. So the humidity and temperature will get uh, surrounding uh, environmental parameters. So these three continuously uh, monitored through the Blink application, Blink IoT application, as well as same through the ThinkSpeak. ThinkSpeak will store the data until you erase that. Uh, in a graphical presentation, we can store them and we can download them in Excel sheet. And uh, these two sensors interface to the node MCU H. Pin number D0, sorry, D0 for the relay to control the motor. So the controlling motor will be done through the Blink application directly. And uh, humidity sensor interface at the pin number D3 and soil moisture sensor at A0 pin interface. So this is the main input and output of our project. So this one is the DST double one and soil moisture sensor through the LM386 uh, operational amplifier to amplify the data. Uh, to the analog voltage interface at the A0 pin and DST double one and this one is the electromagnetic relay which is used to control this motor whenever we trigger this relay through the blink application and uh, the motor is getting 230 volts AC inputs through this power, uh, power cable and parallelly we are distributing the 230 volts AC to this step down transformer which will take 230 volts AC and provide us the 12 volts DC and the operating voltage of our system is 5 volts so to regulate that 12 volts the AC to 5 volts DC we are using regulated power supply which will convert AC to pulsating DC with the help of these 4 diodes and pulsating DC to the PU DC with the help of this capacitor and 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC with the help of this LM2596 voltage regulator so once we provide the 5 volts power supply to this breadboard from there we are distributing the 5 volts to the uh, remaining uh, main processing units and sensors and controlling units so let us see the demonstration before demonstration first of all we need to uh, enable the art spot so on the art spot uh, with name of project 6609 without any space without any capital letter and after enabling the art spot so check twice before demonstration AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after enabling the hotspots on the data and uh, log into the blink up uh, IoT application and log into the things peak so coming to this things peak once you log in you can see this channel so there we can see the previous data so what are the uh, sensors data uploaded while we are testing the project so if you want to erase this data, if you want to get the fresh data to be seen, then uh, before erasing, you can download them. So for that, data import exports, download the data, and it will be downloaded and we can see in Excel sheet directly. So it consists of date and time, and how many samples still now collected. Right, two samples still collected. Field one is a soil moisture sensor, temperature, and humidity. So, like this, uh, we can get them after you download it. And next, clear data import exports to download the data. Channel settings to clear the channel. So, in that, only do clear channel. Don't do any other options. Don't change any other options. So, once it's cleared, it will prompt us and then go to private view private view to access the live data along with graphical presentation now the old data got cleared uh, and uh, check twice whether this hotspot got enabled or not right it's enabled only now on the power supply to this transformer right so once you can see the one device is connected here now previously we have seen that the blink application is offline now it is online now open that there you can get the humidity yeah so this one is a humidity temperature values and moisture level values so once we dip this we can observe the 
change of soil moisture sensor on this and uh, this is a continuous live streaming and coming to think speak the data will be uploaded for every 15 seconds of duration as think speak accept the data at the duration of 15 seconds only now if you want to control the motor let us see that there is a low moisture level from the sensor after seeing that we can control the motor so you can see the status on the relay and we can sense that the motor is running now so once the motor uh, like water level is increased and we can see the moisture level also increased then we can off this so you can see the relay will be off here same we can observe in vice versa condition when the relay is off the LED will be on and when the relay is on the LED will be off right. and parallelly we can get the graphical data the soil moisture sensor along with humidity and temperature values right temperature and the moisture content so this can uh, this accessing of the sensors data and controlling of the motor from the blink application can be accessed from anywhere in the world the only thing is we need to provide uh, hotspots and uh, data near this node mcu and you can access the same data from n number of mobile phones from the blink application and from the n number of mobile phones we can control the motor status that can be seen on any phone so if i on here then the same on will be continuously applied on the another mobile phone we can see that the motor status also thank you